Nope, this video is not clickbait. As you can see, my prayers are active and the prayer points are going up. And if you'd like to, you can never have to worry about prayer ever again. But at what cost? That's all I'll be covering in this video, so whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Infinite prayer is now possible, all thanks to this golden dung beetle. <clears throat> I mean holy scarab. This familiar can be created using some green charms and one of each scarab shell from the Hetz Oasis area, obtained through that crocodile hunting method. This scarab also has a special move which allows you to obtain a random bone per scroll, but I don't see much potential use in this personally. And no, it does not seem to work with the bone crusher, so it's not like you can use it like a prayer potion. Now what's special about this holy scarab isn't its special move, but its special passive, which reduces your prayer drain by 50%. And no, this doesn't have any effect on the wilderness, as it took the same amount of food to get me smited, even though I was using the holy scarab. Now there's an item in the game that you probably all know about and that's the Prayer Renewal. The Prayer Renewal restores 545 prayer points in 6 minutes. Something you also might know is that RuneScape runs in ticks which last 0.6 seconds each. This means every tick you gain 0.9 prayer points when using a prayer renewal. This is excluding the boost you get from the Holy Wrench, which gives you 30 more prayer points overall, which is about a buff of 6% effectiveness. So what does this all mean? Well, if you're able to get your prayer drain rate to 0.9 or below, you won't be losing prayer points. If it's below 0.9 at 0.8, you'll actually be gaining prayer points despite having prayers, or curses for that matter, active. You're able to see your current prayer drain rate on your debuff bar given that you have your debuff bar active. Now, I didn't know this, but the game seems to round up and down prayer drain rates, so I wasted hours and hours on creating some kind of sheet to visualize this prayer drain rate with a bunch of different prayer combinations until it all started to make sense thanks to Terapy Score in the PVME Discord, who said the icon on your debuff bar is the prayer drain rates per tick. Instead of showing you a bunch of different data in a graph, we're just going to take a look at some in-game examples. As you can see, with two cursors turned on, I have a prey drain rate of 2.1 with a prey renewal and the Holy Scarab Familiar active. I turn on Protect Item and the prey drain rate goes down to 1. If I then turn on Berserker, the prey drain rate goes down to 0.6. And this isn't a bug, this is how the game works. If you do this with tier 99 curses, your prey drain rate will increase a little bit to 0.7, but that still means you're gaining prey points even if you have all of those prayers and curses active. Now, if your items have prayer bonus, this is decreased even more as every single prayer bonus reduces your prayer drain by 1%. You're also able to use an item called the Reverence Aura, which can decrease prayer drain by further three all the way up to 10% with the best version of that aura. This aura also increases the amount of prayer points you get from prayer potions, but that's irrelevant for this video, as the point is of not using prayer potions at all. I believe using the best version of the aura and gear, you're able to get it as low as 0 0.4, 0 0.3 per tick, which means you'd be gaining half a prayer point every single tick. Isn't that hilarious? Despite having four prayers or curses active, but, that's cool, but where and how could you use this to your advantage? And the sad reality is, this is very niche despite seeming incredibly good. The reason for it is because simply sipping a prey potion isn't a big deal if you're PVMing. And don't forget we have the power of penance now and we have a penance aura, so where could you really use this? You might be thinking of smithing, because smithing does drain your prayer if you're using soupy form. If you don't have the Orven Furnace Core, which reduces the prey drain to zero, or the Grace of the Elves in combination with an Ancient Elven Ritual Shard, this could actually work and is a good cheap alternative because Grace of the Elves, Ancient Elven Ritual Shard, or the Thurnus Core, these are expensive items. There is a problem though because the Prey Renewal already completely counteracts the Prey Drain from Superheat Form as it's 0.9. Now you could also use it when using crystallize and light form, for example, when mining or doing fishing or doing woodcutting, hunter. The only problem there is though, is that you're offering up or sacrificing your only familiar slot 
for those methods, so you'll be missing out on a Water Fiend for gathering skills, for example, or maybe a Granite Lobster for fishing, or something else you're using to boost your levels invisibly. It's more of a quality of life thing, really. I don't think it's necessarily worth it, and if you're using Crystallize, you're probably not AFKing anyway. With combat, you run into the exact same problem if you want to AFK certain bosses. For most AFK bosses in the game, you're probably going to want to use a Ripper Demon or maybe a Blood Reaver as well if you're using Poison and all that good stuff, like for example, at AFK Hellweir. You would be sacrificing some damage to have more AFKness, but for some bosses that isn't necessarily needed because you're already using something like a Penance Aura or the Power of Penance, which is now a new item. Though if you really want to AFK, I guess you could use it for low mechanic or glacier AFK in normal mode, but then you have Vampirism Aura. Anyways, at Vindicta AFK, if you're doing it in Legacy using Cripplum Armor and Animate Dead, where you would be blood barraging Vindicta, and you'd be using a Penance Aura to keep your prayer up for Soul Split, you could swap out that aura for something like a Madrat Aura, which gives you 5% more damage all the time, and I believe a Ripper Demon is like 2.5% damage increase on average, so that would mean you'd be getting faster kills, and it's just as AFK. I guess that could be an option, but then again, players would probably use the Madrat Aura for some kind of PVM instead, like actual active PVM, so yeah. A place where it could work very well is AFK Slayer mobs or off-task Slayer camping where mobs have low HP, do not drop bones and have low damage output. An excellent example of a place where you could use the Holy Scarab to your advantage is at Capsarius in your personal own Slayer dungeon. You will no longer need to sip your potion every now and then or use your Ancient Evil Ritual Shard or perhaps even bring a Blood Fury to heal up instead. I'm aware the SGB isn't the best boat to use here but in combination with the Equilibrium Aura you're pretty much one-shotting these Capsarius all the time time and the use for if familiar that deals damage or anything else that boosts your damage is none. Now Capsires aren't the only creature it would work well at, you could also use it at Spiritual Warriors instead of an attuned Ectoplasmator which is going to cost you money and this familiar is practically free for the amount of time you can use it. And a worthy mention for sure is Firewatch AFKing as due to this familiar you really don't need a Penance, Salvation, Harmony or Corruption Aura to gain back prayer points at Firewatches when AFKing pretty much extending your trips and increasing your inventory space as you do not need to bring any super restores or prayer potions. Just be sure to not forget your prayer renewals or holy overloads or whatever else you're using to restore your prayer points over time because otherwise, yeah, you will run out of prayer points. So overall this is a familiar that adds something to the game, albeit some new scenarios where you could use this for infinite prayer, but most of the time you're probably better off using a different skilling or combat familiar to boost your stats, kills per hour or gathering rates, because those are simply better than having to click on your prayer potion every now and then or using Ancient Elven Ritual Shard to increase your prayer points. I'd say this familiar is something you'd use if your penance aura is off cooldown or you're not able to use a bone necklace or you just want to AFK really badly and this familiar will be able to assist in those specific situations but more often than not you're probably not going to want to use this familiar as other familiars are simply better. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.